Well, in just a matter of days, Purdue University will graduate an unusually large group of nursing students. The class of 2019 marks a big milestone for the college. It's doubled the number of nursing students that graduated last spring. Business of Health reporter Kylie Valletta tells us the strategy behind that growth. Thanks, Gary. Purdue believes doubling the size of its nursing school is the perfect medicine for the nursing shortage. Last spring, the School of Nursing graduated about 100 students, but this spring, about 200 undergrad students will earn their nursing degree. Purdue School of Nursing Associate Professor Nancy Edwards is here to tell us about the growth spurt, along with Jean Putnam, Executive Vice President and Chief Nursing Officer at Community Health Network, who also serves on the school's advisory board. Thank you both for coming to the show. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Jean, let's start with you. You, um, let's just set the stage with the nursing shortage. Nationally, uh, numbers say 203,000 new RNs each year needed through 2026. What does the nursing shortage look like here in Indiana? It, we're, we're feeling the nursing shortage for sure. But the nice thing is that, you know, folks like Purdue have um, increased their amount of students that are graduating, and so it's really helping the workforce. The challenge we're having is that we still need more, mm -hmm. and so everybody's got um, to pony up to that. Plus, we're also having an issue with clinical placements. Do we have enough places to to place all these students. I, I think Nancy would agree with that. And do we have enough faculty to actually teach those students? So, so you're feeling the pinch at I do community. feel the, I do feel the pinch. We hire about 500 RNs a year. And that's, that's and we have a very um, small turnover, nursing turnover rate compared to the state and the country. But that's still a lot of nurses. We have you know, almost 5,000 nurses in the network. So, yeah. so Nancy, you're growing the school at Purdue, obviously to address uh, the nursing shortage, going from mm -hmm. about 400 total undergrads to 800 in the nursing school. Mm -hmm. Why did Purdue really want to make this happen? Well, you know, one of the things with Purdue, we're a land grant university, so part of our what we do is to help meet the needs of the community. And we've listened to our community partners who are with us who are saying we need more nurses, not only in the hospitals, but nurses are working everywhere. Nurses are in public health, long term care, the community, the schools. So there's such a big need. And we have approximately approximately 1,400 applicants every year. And at that time, we were only taking, you know, 100 to 120. So we have a lot of students or people who want to come in and be students. So we decided to try to double our admission. And we started that in 2016 by doubling our freshman class every year to get to approximately uh, 800. So we hope in the long run that we will be graduating about 200 nurses a year, which is up from a little over 100 from what we used to have. And Jean, you're a Purdue alum, also on the school's advisory board. What is the importance of private industry and universities uh, working hand in hand like this to uh, train tomorrow's nurses? You know, it's really critical. I mean, we can't do this without each other. You know, I talked about the clinical placements, but also what kinds of skill sets and what we need the nurses to know. And that we, we have to be able to say, you know, look, we, we need um, to think about different areas that we're training nurses in. So that conversation needs to occur all the time to make sure that we are meeting the needs of the school and they're meeting the needs of, of the practice settings when they graduate, when the students graduate. And the American Association of Colleges of Nursing uh, says nursing schools across the country are struggling to expand, to uh, grow their capacity. Mm -hmm. So Nancy, Purdue made it look easy from the outside. <laughs> how were, how was Purdue able to execute this? I think the way it, we were, because of our good community relationships and our partners, if we didn't have good community partners who would help us with the clinical placements to help us look at innovative ways of teaching. We use now some simulation. You know, we use uh, clinical placements out in the community. And then to help us to find the faculty that are needed. Um, so I think we work together as a community. I think all nurses work together as a community to help meet the needs. And I think that's how Purdue, in collaboration with the community, we're able to do that. And just a few seconds left. Uh, nursing is not what it was uh, 10 or 15 yes. years ago. What are the new skills that they really need? You know, it's the technical skills are still important, but honestly, we need those soft skills. We're looking for people who are compassionate and caring and want to help people who are suffering and need that emotional holding, if you will. A true calling. True calling. True calling. All right. Well, thank you both for coming to the show. I appreciate it. Good luck with all the growth. Thank you. <laughs> Gary, back to you.